Good evening and welcome to episode 8 of Game of Thrones. I decided to do this one right after the last one because I took so long between episodes 6 and 7. And also of course because I'm also just very curious to see what will happen next now, especially with Ned Stark. Now before getting into this one, I just have a quick comment about the uh, comments. Because I've always checked for new comments under the bell notification function. And it seems like about a month or two ago, although I discovered this just now, um, I must have passed some kind of threshold for the amount of comments that can be displayed up there because I just recently went back to an older video and I noticed I've been getting a lot of comments on it that I know I've never seen and have never been made aware of. So I just want to point this out in case you have been commenting on my previous videos and you've seen me maybe like and respond to other comments but not yours. If so, it's like nothing personal, it doesn't mean I didn't like your comment. I appreciate any and all comments and I really do try to respond to all of them or at least like them if I don't have anything particular to say. But um, just so you know, like I haven't been meaning to ignore anyone, it really has just been that I thought I'd seen all the comments but apparently not, there's just some that I've missed. And I'll probably read them eventually, but for now, because I want to avoid spoilers, I'll probably leave them be until I'm a little further into the show and then eventually start going back and checking earlier comments when I'm maybe more in the later seasons. But anyway, just wanted to clear that up, just in case anybody's noticed it and wondered why they didn't get a reply or whatever, so uh, yeah, that's really all I had to say about it, so let's jump into episode 8, the pointy end. Oh yeah, I was wondering if the pointy end was gonna be a reference to her sword. Like if she's gonna stick someone with a pointy end in this one. Oh shit, what? Was that where she was? No. No, okay. Do you break anything? The scepter left my eggs. What the shit? Why are they just killing everyone? Oh, is this the Lannisters? That's their colors, right? She's so clumsy. Hush. Go back to your Run. Why isn't she gonna go with her? Is she gonna run off a fight? They're not gonna kill her, are they? Now you are dead. You said right. My tongue lied. My eyes shouted the truth. You were not Okay. Seeing. I was so. I watched, but you- Watching is not seeing. Arya Stark, come with us. My father wouldn't send you. Yeah. No, don't have to <laughs> And she you picks up her sword want. too. <laughs> Take her. How do you men or snakes? Is he gonna beat him with a wooden sword? Foreign bastard. Yeah, he probably is. Kill the Bravosi. Bring the girl. The Bravosi? Run to your father. Well, he definitely knows his stuff anyway. Come with me. Run. The first sword of Bravos does not run. I hope they're not gonna kill her teacher. Maybe he should pick what up an actual say? real sword? To the god of death. Not today. Not today? Go. Are we gonna get to see what happens? And he probably should have tried to go with her actually. It might be a little dangerous for her to navigate her way through these holes. If people are getting slaughtered left and right. Not safe. Jesus, they killed a lot of people. Needed. Why would they kill all of them? They're not even. What do you want? They're not what even soldiers. Come here. Stay. Who's oh. this asshole? Oh shh. He got the point. The end. Did he die? I guess we'll find out eventually. How's Stark doing? Is he in the dungeons now? Lord Stark, you must be thirsty. Not so much, my lord. Hide it. Men have been known to die of thirst in these cells. I get the feeling they're probably not gonna keep him there that long, though. And Sansa? Still engaged to Joffrey. The rest of your household, though, all dead, it grieves me to say. It still seems pretty excessive to kill all of his... I was unarmed, people, unarmed though, but... and surrounded by Lannister swords. Well... When you look at me, do you see a hero? What madness led you to tell the Queen you had learned the truth about Joffrey's birth? Yeah, I do wonder. That was not smart. It was your mercy that killed the King. What? The Queen can't kill me. Can't hold her brother. Yeah, he is released though. Your wife has let the imp slip through her fingers. 
Yeah, you're screwed now, boy. Slip my throat and be done with it. Not today, my lord. Who do you truly serve? The realm, my lord. I still can't tell if he was trying to be nice or just keep him alive for his execution or whatever. Like, it, it's so hard to to read his motives. It's also been dead a while, I'd say. The smell. What smell? There is none. If they'd been dead for a long time, wouldn't they be rot? Oh, yeah. That's clever. You may be a coward, Charlie. But you're not stupid. Get them inside. And I'm also very happy that John will be sir. Like, I was so confused in the last one. I, th I didn't realize this guy was the commander. I thought the other asshole was the commander, that it was him he was going to be waiting on, but... Bring me a horn of ale, Snow. This actually seems like a pretty, pretty decent guy to be under compared to the other guy. The king is dead. Is there any word of my father? Sit. Oh dear. Lord Stark has been charged with treason. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything stupid. Your duty lies here now. My sisters were in King's Landing too. Yeah, I mean, he can't just not do... Well, of course, what can he do really against all of them? But it's not going to be easy concentrating on his tasks there when his whole family is in danger. Please, Your Grace, there's been a mistake. The King was his friend. Sansa Sweetling, you were innocent of any wrong, we know that. Yet you are the daughter of a traitor. How can oh, I allow shut you to up. marry my son? Yeah, please don't. Absolutely. In ten years, who knows what treason she may hatch. Oh, shut up, you too. But absolutely. Cancel the wedding. The girl is innocent, Your Grace. And this guy needs a smack or three. What will happen to him? That depends. On what? On your brother. And on you. Oh, yeah, no pressure or anything. Treason. Sansa wrote this. It is your sister's hand, but the Queen's words. Oh, this guy's smart anyway. Call the banners. They've all sworn to defend my father, have they not? They have. The banners. Now we see what the words are worth. Who are they and are they enough? You're afraid? There must be. Good. Why is that good? It means you're not stupid. Yeah. We can hope anyway. But no, he seems pretty sharp too. I haven't seen too much of him so far, I feel, but I really do like him too. Oh, great titty lady. My son intends to declare war. A war. You should go to him. Teach him patience. Does family mean nothing to you? I will not risk Robin's life to get caught up in another of your husband's wars. Of I'm course she won't. Oh, oh God, please don't. You will not support us then? But I'm hungry! Oh, for fuck's sake, will someone slap that kid? Time for your bath. I'll feed you after. That's so nasty. The Knights of the Vale will stay in the Vale where they belong. Will you shut up? <laughs> and these guys just know nothing of anything? Have they not heard any of this? They're just walking? I'm not your friend. Though I would treasure your friendship, I'm mainly interested in your facility with murder. And if the day ever comes when you're tempted to sell me out, whatever their price, I'll beat it. Tyrion. Oh shit, what now? Tyrion. Is it wildlings again, or...? Oh, it's a lot of them, whatever they are. Vikings? How would you like to die, Tyrion, son of Tywin? In my own bed, at the age of 80? <laughs> With a belly full of wine and a girl's mouth around my cock? <laughs> of course it would. Take the half man! Kill the other one! No! Oh, Jesus. Why so hostile? Those are the best weapons you could steal? Lannister Smith shit better steal. <laughs> Whoa! Could have taken his eye out. If you help us, I'll give you this. What is this? The Veil of Aaron. He's gonna give him the whole place? I believe it is time for new Lords of the Vale. What is he gonna give him the whole place? Now that is a rare sight. Not only a bastard, but a traitor's bastard. Oh, just kill this dude. He is a little tiresome. No! Oh, shit! Stop putting out! Whoa! I didn't mean it literally. You'll hang for this bastard. What, for that? They're gonna kill him for... I guess it was attempted murder, but... Still. Very dramatic. You're confined to quarters. Go. So no hanging today anyway? Ghost? What's wrong? I have a little bit of a hard time getting past that that is very obviously a dog and not a wolf. And a very happy dog too. But he's very pretty. Commander! Something happened to the commander? And he picked it up from that far away? Hello? 
awfully quiet in there. Who's there? No commander? Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, it's that guy that they brought in. I was wondering if there was something weird about them, like... Some kind of zombie person? Damn. Apparently he doesn't need that hand. Okay. Did that take care- No, that didn't take care of him. He's still fine. What the hell? How do you- How do you kill these people? With fire? What the hell is this now? I really wanted to know what that was about. Okay. That was a weird cut. Oh, that's nice. That's very sad. make them stop. You heard me. Jesus, these people just don't get it. This is how it's always been. I wonder how that's gonna go over with everybody. What do you want done with them? Bring her to me. And those women there. You cannot claim them all, princess. I can. And I will. Okay, she's gonna be the protector of all the slave women? I mean, it's noble intentions, but I don't know how practical it is. Yeah, but maybe she shouldn't try to change everything at once. <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh dear. Is he gonna fight him? Yeah, of course he is. What? Why do you let him do that? That seemed unnecessary. He's not gonna use weapons even? Oh shit! He tore his tongue out! Why? Because he was talking shit? His wound must be washed and sewn or it will fester. It didn't seem like that serious of a cut, though, still. I'm the man you want leading the vanguard. Galbert Glover will lead the van. I will lead the van, or I will take my men and march them home. Oh, all the allied bannermen can't get along? You are welcome to do so, Lord Umber. And when I am done with the Lannisters, I will march back north and hang you for an oathbreaker. Oathbreaker, is it? Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, shit! The Great John only meant to cut my meat for me. Your meat is bloody tough. Okay. We're all friends now again? What is it? Where are you going? South. Just the middle of the night. I don't want them to know we're coming. Is he gonna actually attack? Or just make like a demonstration of strength. Like I'm not sure what the plan is entirely. I'll send letters whenever I can. But if you don't hear from me, don't be scared. Till I return. Oh, I wonder how this is gonna end. How long have you been hiding out there? Rob will be looking for you. Now come back with mother. No, they won't. Why did he say that? Please watch over Rob. You hear them, boy? The old gods are answering you. Oh, her again. They're my gods too. You ask them, they're answering you. Those are very pretty trees. I like the color combination. They see you, boy. They hear you. Oh, well, that one has a different face. <laughs> well, the hell one. is this now? He has giant's blood in him. Oh, it's Hodor. Go back and find your clothes, Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> Why is he running around butt naked? Does there just have to be a naked person in each episode? All these swords, they should be going north, not south. They were touched by white walkers. That's why their eyes turned blue. Yeah, like those people in the beginning of the first episode. The white walkers sleep beneath the ice for thousands of years. And when they wake up... And when they wake up, 
I hope the wall's high enough. Why are they good climbers? Certainly seems high enough. I'd be more worried about them finding some way through. That is a very high wall though. The river lords are falling back, with Jaime Lannister at their heels. And Lord Tywin is bringing round a second Lannister army from the south. The kings in the north threw back hosts ten times as large. Wonder if there's really no hard feelings with this guy who lost his fingers, or... Like, if he's really gonna be loyal to Rob after that. I've no fear my lady will shove our swords up Tywin Lannister's bunghole. And then it's on to the Red King to free Ned. <laughs> bunghole. You old devil. I haven't heard that since Beavers and Butthead. There was... A letter from Sansa. From the Queen, you mean? There's no mention of Arya. No. Oh yeah, and she just stabbed some kid. Still haven't Many found out what happened have. with that. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand? That's still a lot. Do you know what happened to the Targaryen children when the Mad King fell? They were butchered in the sleep. On the orders of Tywin Lannister. And the years have not made him kinder. Oh, that was on his command. If you lose... Your father dies. Your sisters die. We die. Well, that makes it simple then. I suppose it does. Uh, I really do wonder if he's gonna end up losing. But I can't imagine they would just exterminate all of the Starks either. Unless this is gonna be a long war that's gonna drag out over many seasons, but I don't know. It might be best if Bronn and I continue alone. Not best for me. If the Half-Man betrays us, Shaga, son of Dolph, will cut off his manhood. And feed it to the goats, yes. I wonder if he's screwing these guys over and he's gonna end up killing them somehow. Because I can't really see him putting these people in charge of the Vale. Father? Who are these companions of yours? Shaga, son of Dolph. Timit, son of Timit. Ruler of the Burned Men. This fair maid is Chella, leader of the Black Ears. Oi. And here we have Bronn, son of... You wouldn't know him. <laughs> All right. May I present my lord father, Tywin of House Lannister. Jamie smashed the river lords of the Golden Tooth and now lay siege to River Run, Catelyn Stark's homeland. Oh, ouch. How did my sweet sister persuade the king to imprison his dear friend Ned? Robert Baratheon is dead. Joffrey rules in King's Landing. Oh yeah, that might be bad news for Tyrion too. I know they're related, but he did keep slapping him all the time. Ride with me against my enemies and you shall have all my son promised you and more. Only if the half-man fights with us. Until we hold the steel he pledged us, the little lion's life is ours. That might have been the wrong answer. And he actually almost kind of looks like that guy from Monty Python. The airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow guy. Do that and the river lords will join us. To do either we need to cross the river. Rob's right. Who was that? We've captured a Lannister scout. He won't be leaving this tent with his head. He looked to be counting. How high did you get? 20,000 maybe more. Let him go. What? Rob. What's his thoughts with that? To actually let them know their numbers? Till Lord Tywin. Winter is coming for him. 20,000 northerners marching south to find out if he really does shit gold. Yes, my lord. Are you touched, boy? Letting him go? You call me boy again. Go on. I mean, it's a good thing he's standing up for himself, but... He's not doing it in the wisest of ways always, I feel. Kind of creating a lot of division in a situation where they really need to stick together. It is the wish of his grace that Tywin Lannister be appointed Hand of the King. Oh, great. Sir Barristan Selmy. I have yours to command. Rise, Sir Barristan. You may remove your helm. Helm? Not helmet? It is time to put aside your armor and your sword. The King's Guard is a sworn brotherhood. Our vows are taken for life. You let my father die. You're too old protect anybody oh ouch i am a knight i shall die a knight what's a he naked doing knight, apparently <laughs> <laughs> whoa even now i could cut through the five of you like carving a cake here boy melt it down and add it to the others okay 
Well, I'm glad they didn't kill him anyway. Your Grace. Come forward, my lady. As it please your Grace, I ask mercy for my father. Treason is a noxious weed. You should be torn out. Roots. Let us speak. I want to hear what she says. Oh, really? All I ask is mercy. He said I wasn't the king. Why did he say that? Maester Pycelle was giving him milk of the poppy. He wasn't himself. Anything else? If you still have any affection in your heart for me, do me this kindness, your grace. Your sweet words have moved me. Have they? But your father has to confess and say that I'm the king, or there'll be no mercy for him. And he is not gonna do that, is he? He will. Oh, don't be so sure. No! Ah. Okay, well that didn't really clear a whole heck of a lot up at all, but I feel like it certainly set the tone and the direction for where things are going to probably be moving in the next episode, because I really don't think Ned Stark is gonna confess to a whole lot at all. What I am very curious about though is if he is actually gonna tell everybody the truth about Joffrey. Like to be honest, I'm really surprised he didn't just yell it out when they like before they took him to the dungeon, but I guess we'll see how that plays out in the next episode and I'm also very curious to see what happens with Arya and that kid she apparently ran through with her sword. But anyway, don't have a whole lot more to add to this one so I'm gonna jump right into editing. So as usual, thank you so very much for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one too. Alright, bye bye!